Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in my last video I did a swatch video of the Kiki London Easy Build Up Gels and today I'm going to put them on my nails. So I've already done all of my prep and I'm just using some alcohol on a pad and I'm just wiping over to get rid of any dust that might still be on my nails. And this is um, sort of a journey to healthier nails for me. I'm doing this um, just on my natural nails. I'm doing a natural nail overlay with this easy build up gel. And I'm trying to improve the health of my nails and my sort of cuticle area because um, I have been watching a few videos recently on how to improve it. So I'm gonna try my best to make it look a bit better um, because I do have very dry skin and it definitely needs a bit of care at the moment so i'm going in with the primer on all of the nails and then i'm using a base coat and i'm using a colored base coat and this is 06 and it's a beautiful pink color and it is going to go with the build up gel that i'm using so this first nail is completely in real time so this is really slow and i'll show you exactly how i do it so i'll paint it on in quite a thin layer sort of scrubbing it in a little bit to that natural nail and I make sure that I've not got too much on the brush and then when I've done that I get my stripe liner brush and I just put a little bead of it a tiny little bead up in that cuticle area but it's not staying there so it's not going to be a really thick base coat i am using the stripe liner brush just to brush it around the edges of the nail because there isn't really enough product for me to use from anywhere else in the nail so that's why i had to put that extra little bit on and then i'm doing exactly the same with the next nail but i have sped this up a little bit so yeah, I'm just doing exactly the same thing. And on this one, I didn't need to put a little extra bead of the build, uh, the base coat because I already had enough on the nail. So I'm doing exactly the same thing on the other two nails using the brush out of the bottle at first and then using the stripe liner brush. And this is just so that I get a complete um, coverage of base coat over the entire nail bed. And that means that as I'm building it up, it's not going to miss out those side walls. So after that's all been cured, the base coat does get cured for 30 seconds. Then I'm using the Easy Build Up Gel and this is a beautiful pink called Sweet Rose. And I'm doing, for the first coat, exactly the same thing. So this first nail is in real time and I'm painting it on really slowly, just full coverage. Now I did have a bit too much on the brush, so I wiped that off and there was a bit too much on the nail. So I used the brush then with no product on it just to wipe that over the rest of the nail, make sure that it was all even. And then I got the stripe liner brush and I just went around the cuticle area and the sidewall area making sure that they did all have gel exactly where they needed it and then I don't cure that I go in with another bead at the cuticle area or just below it and then I just feather it down from side to side keeping the nail pointed downwards to help the flow of the gel and I take that all the way to the tip and then I'm using the stripe liner brush again just to make sure that it's joining that gel where those side walls are on each side and then I do make sure that I use the stripe liner brush on the very tip of the nail and make sure that that goes all the way down and then that is it there's no two coats for this it's just one coat that's that's all that I'm doing so that gets cured for 60 seconds because it is a builder gel so what I don't show you is off camera after I've finished with putting the gel on and it's still wet I do put my hand upside down for a few seconds just to make sure that that gel is even um, and it helps give a better shape to the nail. So then I'm doing exactly the same on all of the nails so yeah you don't need to go I'm not going in with like two or three layers of this it's just the one because it is just a natural overlay if you're doing it 
on your own natural nails and they're short, then you don't need to build up an apex. You don't need that strength and structure. You're just basically protecting the nails with with the coverage of the gel. So you don't need, you know, you don't need a big apex. You don't need that shaping. So using the stripe liner brush, it might seem like a bit of a faff, but it is, I think it's necessary, especially for my nails, because I do have the skin at the sides that when you're doing your own nails, it's hard to pull that skin back. So using the stripe liner brush just helps you get into those sidewalls without taking the bottle brush too close to your skin where you can get it all over your skin and then, you know, um, you can... I was going to say you can cause reactions. You can cause reactions like that that way but you can also cause reactions a lot of different ways which i've been learning about recently um so yeah even though you're using products that might be no wipe so you're using no wipe top coat at the end it's still not fully cured there is still a very thin layer of uncured gel so you must always make sure that when you have finished a set of nails you do wipe over with alcohol when you finish just to get rid of any traces of that gel otherwise you're going to be spreading that gel onto your skin and then anything else that your hands touch before you wash your hands so don't forget to like this video if you did like it and if you're not already a subscriber please consider subscribing and then hit on the notification bell so that youtube will let you know whenever i upload a new video so you can get 10% off Kiki London products by using my code which is up on the screen and I will put it in the description box as well. So after all the nails have been cured, this is how they look. And I've not filed them or done anything to them yet. They've just literally just been cured. So I'm getting the alcohol on a pad and I'm just cleaning the dispersion layer, which is uncured gel, off my nails before I give them a file. So that's what they look like when they've had that little wipe and you, you can see that the shaping is already there so I don't really need to file them but I am going to just buff over the surface and make sure that it is as even as I want it. So I'm just using um, I'm just using this pink sponge buffer just to go over the nail and make sure that I get, that I get into the cuticle area and down the side walls and that I just refine the tip area a little bit just so that it's smooth. So when they're all done and I'm happy with them, I do wipe over with alcohol again just to get rid of any dust. And then I'm using some gel polish colours. I'm using Violet Dawn and Lavender Haze. And I'm also using the Classic White from the Hema Free range. So yeah, if you are allergic to Hema, you can get gel polishes from Kiki London that are Hema Free. And also the Easy Build Up Gel is Hema Free as well. So I'm just painting lines of the different colours onto the palette because I'm going to do a gel polish marble. So when I've got enough product there, I'm not mixing it or anything yet. I'm going in with the Blooming Gel. And I'm going to paint an even layer on the whole nail and I'm going to leave it wet. And then I'm going to use my dotting tool and just put some wiggly lines through that gel polish and then use the round nail art brush just to gently flow that gel polish onto the nail and what you'll notice is it starts blooming straight away it starts spreading out but i do get the detailer brush and just move it a little bit to areas where i want covering because i did want to see 
that gel underneath but I didn't want um, too many patches where there wasn't any gel polish. Um, I did get the striping brush and just put a little bit more of the white through the gel polish marble before I cured it. So that's the beauty with this type of design. You can, you know, change it and mess around with it while, you know, while it's blooming. So when I'm happy with that, I'll put that in the lamp for 30 seconds. I, I do actually cure it for 60 seconds just because using this method, um, the gel polish is quite a bit thicker than it normally would be in some areas. So I want to make sure it's completely cured. So I'm doing this again on the ring fingernail. But the beauty of this is that you get a different effect on every single nail. So I've never tried this before with the blooming gel. I have seen this actually on the Kiki London YouTube channel and I thought that it looked really good so I wanted to have a go myself and I was really impressed with the way it looked. So I'm doing exactly the same on the other hand but I'm just not doing that on camera because it is exactly the same. So you do need to make sure that you look at your nails from the side and make sure that there aren't any big lumps of the gel polish and if there are then you can always just remove them with your stripe liner brush before you cure your nails. So I'm applying the blooming gel then the gel polish and fixing it how I want it and then putting it in the lamp and then I move on to the next nail um, because if you can leave them all to bloom but I was happy with the way that each nail looked at that point so I wanted to sort of freeze it in time um, and cure it in the lamp before it bloomed too much because it will if you leave it wet it will just continue to spread and spread over the entire nail. So when I'm happy with them all and they've all been cured I'm putting the Hema Free No Wipe Top Coat on three of the nails so the pinky nail, the middle nail and the thumb and then I'm using the Velvet Matte Top Coat on the ring finger and the pointer finger because I wanted a bit of a, a different look on the different nails and to be honest I think I do prefer them shiny so let me know down in the comments what you think would you wear these nails do you like this effect and do you prefer the shorter nails or do you like long nails um, I'm going to be out in the garden quite a lot because I do like to grow my own vegetables out there and it's much easier to have shorter nails so I will be doing some longer sets on my practice hand but on me I'm trying to get my nails a bit healthier and I'm going to just start having them a bit shorter just while um, we've got the growing season. So when they've all been cured in the lamp this is how they look so you've got some shiny ones and matte ones and obviously you can see how dry my skin is because I've not helped it by using the alcohol um, but I do put some cuticle oil on and give that a rub in and then they do look better so this is how both the hands look together with that design on all of them. So I absolutely love these and I love using the easy build up gel it was really easy to use and I definitely recommend it. So if you like this video, please give it a like. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider subscribing. And that is it for this video. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.